Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Educational Gamer and we are playing Strategic Command. Uh, I'm sitting here with my coffee and eagerly watching uh, the German build up along the front with the Soviet Union. It is feeling threatening right now. Uh, we did finish our turn except for a couple of things. So uh, firstly I do want to move this armor train up because armor trains are cool. Um, and of course likewise we are going to move up this tank division and we are going to actually move it normally so that it can recover a little bit of its morale. Right, that being said, uh, we are going to hit the end turn button here and see what the excess is going to do in... Okay, in some of their territory. Uh, so we did capture Masawa over there. Our engineers are completing some fortresses. That's nice. These ones probably as well. Yeah, there we go. That's good. Uh, I do expect the Germans to attack any time uh, very soon. Several unrest breaks out in India. That's a lot of points that were that were lost over there. I think it might be due to the uh, early early war. And there we go, anti-submarine warfare level one. That is extremely important. Production technology level one for India, important as well. But yeah, India is losing a lot of points due to these strikes. But they are part of the war, and that is important. Here we go then with the excess turn. Um, Japan is going to be a little bit more fluid. And I think Greece is going to be completely overrun. Uh, but I don't expect the Germans to attack in May 1941. Ooh, enemy contact over here. Slightly destroying some of these German and Italian ships. It is nice to see. The Japanese are withdrawing towards North Korea. Since we are making inroads in northern China, Peking still hasn't fallen. That will be in a very important national morale objective. And mostly reinforcing their, their units, which is good for us. Um, I mean, as, as long as they are spending money on their ground forces, they'll probably not be reinforcing their naval troops too much. Speaking of which, here we have a heavy cruiser. There we go, German destroyer. They are starting to be a little bit more eager over there. Italian light cruisers stumbling into our battleship in port, actually, but losing heavily. The Germans over here might be attacking, but I don't see that now. Ooh! Good anti-aircraft fire. It's a good thing that we upgraded this unit at some point. Yeah, but just watch them entirely destroy our units over there. Artillery firing on our battleship. Interesting. Forces down here battling quite strongly. That was a very indecisive attack up there from the Japanese. Trying to reinforce the Peking division, but they won't be doing that too strongly. Italians are bringing their mighty beer on the Greek. And, you know, since Yugoslavia had fallen before that, they're seemingly a little bit successful at that. Starting to make some desperate moves, I think. Oh, Italian tanks. It's actually good that these, this army is withdrawing. Might allow us to hold out a little bit longer over there. Germans reinforcing their tanks, Germans reinforcing their position. Just look at that, it's four tank divisions over here already. And a lot of armies, and they are very well upgraded. Well, at least Greece is holding out, so that Mumbai buys a little bit of time. I think that was just the submarine, which would be nice, because that means that they did indeed lose the submarine. As far as are moving back. These forces are starting to feel the pressure. It's very difficult uh, to lead war down there, but we are making that. I think uh, Germany is forming Croatia, which will allow them yeah, uh, to get some additional troops. And Croatia joins the Axis. Zagreb, that's not too critical. Ah, Italian human torpedoes. That was actually a very daring attack, I have to say. Hitler's deputy Rudolf Hess flies to the UK. <laughs> Some effect in US baseball. I'm not too sure that's too relevant, but here we go. I mean, it is a US game uh, at the end of the day. So it is now our turn, and let's build some coffee. Macedonian army destroyed. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Croatia. All of that is fine though. Some German submarines in the Baltic Sea. That's interesting. 
Garrisons in Belgrade I don't really care about. And some improvement, uh, some reinforcements all along the line. Good. As always, start out with China, southern China over here. Um, yeah, let's try to remove this army down here from play. And you know what? We are actually going to pull back these troops. Going to cycle in another core and attack that army and, and destroy it completely. So that we might now be able to exert yet more pressure on these guys. They should be lower on supply now. Um, and that will of course be very difficult for them. And again, I forgot to do the most important things. Can we move in now? No, they're still, they're not exerting zones of control anymore, um, but it is important as is over there. Right, so you, you are supporting a weird arrangement of troops. Um, let's pull off the engineers. This army is fine. And then let's take on this core. And you can instead attach the special forces. Certainly want you to attach these guys, but I think you're overloaded a little bit. Let's detach that. Let's attach this army. That is five troops, including the fighters, which I think is fine. Good. So making sure that that um, covers these things. Could start to make some attacks over here, uh, but I do think it's worthwhile to come in with the back of these guys. Can't advance into there yet, though. Uh, but we can reduce their strength, and that is, of course, useful. Good. Let's try to reduce um, this army over here in picking. Some good strikes happening. Some not so good attacks. Um, where can you go? You can go pretty much to all of these things, so... Maybe over there, and then next time you can attack over here, and now you can come in and launch another attack on these guys. And then, yeah, we'll have this army finish things up. Or not. Thing is, I do want to move up my light tanks over here. Although you can't really be upgraded. Okay, let's attack with the light tanks. They are suffering a little bit, but not too badly. The king is, has fallen to our troops, so that is very nice. And you can actually launch the attack now, uh, but it might make sen more sense to bring it back over here against the river, and then that army can come in. The engineers can move forward. That does allow the army to move forward. Uh, you can, I guess, move up over here. And then everyone else is fine. Bring up the fighters. So what do we do over here? Could attack, advance towards Port Arthur. Could advance over here. Cut off their support apply potentially hmm not sure or simply attack against them no let's let's be a little bit more conservative let's attack over there uh, but not advance any further and then this garrison, uh, uh, sorry, this core we'll actually use as garrison in Tsingtao. That should be okay. And we are close to advancing on Shanghai, so let's try to take that. Didn't quite make it. But nearly so. So if I were to advance over here. Bring up the army. Yeah, bring up the army, destroy the garrison. It was a bit of an overkill. Maybe. And then bring up this army into Shanghai. And that should really, really cut off their supplies in a very bad way for them. And it should really boost our national morale. 
Likewise, how is our supply down here? Really bad still. I would have expected it to flow a little bit more freely from Nanjing. Nanjing, sorry. Uh, but we are making some progress. Ooh, something is really suffering. This one as well. So yeah, let's make sure to push on aggressively against all of these guys. You're fine, you're fine. I think down here we did everything that we need to. Uh, we can actually upgrade the garrison so that it can fight off things a little bit more effectively. You can't be reinforced even due to the supply situation or what? Hmm. Interesting. This core um, can't even bring it up here. It seems like we are making some progress. So yeah. No, happy about that situation up there. Happy about the situation down here. So nationalist China doesn't need to do much more. Can place another garrison. Ideally, I think we should actually do that up here, probably, so that we don't get flanked in our backs at Tianjin. That does leave us with a lot of points for, for the Chinese. Uh, we can't do any more diplomacy with them. So we could arm D with China. I mean, infantry weapons always useful, command and control useful. None of the other technologies are that tempting for China. I mean, fighters are probably the best thing that we can do. So yeah, let's spend some money on, on expanding our air forces. And that should be good for China. Now, down here, we did see some Italians. There they are. Let's try to sink them. There we go. Small national morale boost for us. With these uh, Australian, I think, um, ships. They'll be moving back towards Singapore. Uh, where they will be joining some of their friends from over here. Including, I think, Kiwi. Destroyer. Um, let's move you into the base. And this light cruiser, so let's try to exert some pressure on Japan. Even though I think we are not technically at war yet, but we might be very soon. That does bring us almost to East Africa. So we have some Indians up here uh, who will be making their way down towards Mogadishu. We have the South Africans over here in a sort of a mixed place, to be honest, against them. Um, the enemy up there, and the supply situation is still horrible. Even potentially it's horrible. You can move up here, that's gonna be a little bit better. Um, you can upgrade? No, you need to be reinforced. That is it. Okay. And these tactical bombers... I think actually our most important target is... Italian uh, headquarter over there. What can you do? Not much. You can't do much either. Yeah, slowly, slowly we are pushing in on them. Right. That's fine. Uh, there's uh, one garrison down here. That At some point we'll get it towards the coast. That's fine though. North Africa is a little bit more difficult, I feel. So these special forces need to be reinforced, but we can only bring in so many reinforcements every turn. Let's try to sink that light cruiser. There we go. Nice national morale boost. So we do have tactical bombers. And you would be fairly good against these tanks. So let's try to do that. There are going to be interceptors, but we are going to counter that hopefully with our escorts. And more importantly, that is going to reveal the position of these guys. All in all, a fairly good trade, I believe. Let's scout ahead here with our heavy cruisers and attack these airplanes. 
Can we do more against them? Apparently not with these guys. Maybe with the destroyers? Mm, apparently not. So, that does leave the question down here. Okay, these guys can't attack effectively. These guys can't attack effectively. Can't reinforce them. This army up here could try to push out. Could also try to bring these guys over here. I think it's going to be a good choice. Nope, in fact, it's not a good choice. So let's look at this fly series. That's best. I should reinforce you, but I can't. How about you? Would you be good at attacking these guys? I doubt it. Well, they also have a two. That means they have researched infantry um, equipment. Hmm, that's a little bit unfortunate. That's why they're so good. Circle out the tanks. What's the supply like? It's kind of bad all around. need to come to Benghazi. Can we reinforce you at least? Yeah, we can. So that should give us some benefit over there. Uh, these guys are all moved. These submarines need to be reinforced. It's expensive, but still better than nothing. Bring up the aircraft carrier over there, but we'll need to modify it soon enough. Um, and over here in the Mediterranean, then. I guess we can try to bring our battle cruisers just. I mean, there's no point in moving these up in one go, really. And then that battleship should be coming in over here. So, yeah, strengthen our Mediterranean forces. I think that is a very fine idea. Uh, over here there was a submarine, but I don't expect it to be anywhere close anymore. I think we actually sunk it. So that does leave our s carrier over here. Um, actually, before we move it, I want to make sure that the you're on a fighter air patrol only. You know what? That's fine. We are going to try to bring it up as far as possible over here. Might be a little bit exposed, but we'll see. Have we got everything that we need? We might actually bring up another light cruiser with you. Uh, just so that we have a stronger presence in the map, basically. Right, uh, the destroyers. The destroyers. Uh, we do have a couple that should probably be upgraded. Uh, d I don't need naval weaponry. I don't need anti-aircraft defenses, but I do want the anti-submarine warfare. It's fairly cheap, but it does incredibly... Uh, increase our attack against uh, enemy sub uh, enemy submarines by a factor of two. So that is extremely important. Let's bring everyone home to port um, as far as we can do that. So that they can be upgraded next time. Uh, not everyone is capable of doing that right now. So let's make sure that these guys are simply going that way then. Um, and likewise over here. Also making sure that no one is sitting on our supply lines. But that's fine. We have one carrier left in this area. What are What is your mode actually? Naval tactical, that's fine. So you're more of a strike configuration uh, rather than anything else. And that is okay. So what happens if we take our... Okay, so you're just reconnaissance. Just providing reconnaissance. That's actually very nice. Okay. Lovely. Okay, so that settles all of our fleets over here, except for the heavy cruiser. Everything else, though, is settled in terms of our navy in the Atlantic. There are, of course, these ships in the North Sea. And we do know that there are some German destroyers around. We just found found over here. So uh, let's bring up our battleship even. They'd be losing a little bit, but we'd be destroying the port. 
Do we want to destroy the port, though? That is a good question. Let's try. Let's see what happens. Yeah, the destroyer lost quite a bit, but our battleship as well. So it's not necessarily the best move. Have we upgraded you? No, we have not, but we can, so let's do that. A light cruise over here, so the other crew destroyer is very probably in port over there. Bring in more battleships? Well, I do think we need to destroy the destroyer if we want to attack Oslo. So yeah, let's try to do that. Not much point doing that. And then on these guys, um, you should really be mixed. And you likewise should be mixed so uh, that we are providing some AA cover should the enemy attack. But yeah, really attacking over here doesn't doesn't seem to be yielding us too too much. Okay, let's bring it up over here. And then we are gonna come in a little bit more closely towards the enemy over here uh, and see whether we can disrupt the, uh, the destroyers as they are moving around over there basically. Special Forces and Canadians are fine. These guys are all good to go. These fighters are okay. These fighters are here. These are here. We do have another battleship. Mm. Should probably bring that over there. Yeah, let's bring it over here. Didn't find any enemy, but that's fine. Yeah, and everyone else over here is okay. Ooh, you can be upgraded. Oh yeah, sure. You have anti-submarine warfare capability now. Yes, please. That is very important, at the very least, uh, on our naval patrol craft. And I think that also refers uh, to this one over here from Canada. Yep, it's fairly cheap as well. Good, that does settle things for the UK, I believe. Some forces down here, but they are fine. Did deal with China, did deal with this area. So let's place the new units. Uh, the British Expeditionary Forces have been raised as an, as an army again. I'm gonna place them in Scotland so that they can travel over here very quickly. Other than that, we have another core as the USSR. Always very welcome. And we should probably place that in some place where currently there are only engineers. So we fortified this line a little bit more strongly, uh, which I think is a very good uh, choice, especially as the Pripyat marshes are sort of a natural obstacle. So yeah, the advance on Kiev should be more difficult now and that I appreciate. This is a town that we cannot reinforce, but this town here um, is probably a river line that we will want to reinforce. Might even place them a little bit more towards that direction. I mean, we could even think about just bringing these guys up closer towards the front. And occupy this river line over here. And then defend over here in the back. Prepare our defenses. Yeah, I think I like that. Uh, and we want it towards the sort of south. West. Set mode, fortify, rotate, like that, and that's fine. Good. Yeah, this army over here. Okay, so the new unit, the core, will simply be replaced over here. That's fine, so we have a somewhat coherent defense. You're a little bit exposed over there, to be honest. The mechanized units might be more of a reserve. Uh, we do want to upgrade the tanks to be better tanks. Uh, and then what we want to do as the USSR definitely is increase um, some of our infantry unit equipment. 
um, you, for example, you, everyone else over here seems to have moved, ah, uh, the garrison, uh, let's, let's reinforce it, these guys are fine, these here need to be reinforced, garrisons, engineers I'm not too keen on, on upgrading because they shouldn't really be in the front line, I think we have enough of front line to defend, uh, to sort of pull back and, and keep that going. Um, garrisons, on the other hand, they might be a little bit more worthwhile. They're not that expensive as well, so I think it's fairly okay to do this. So army up over here, these just garrisons. I don't think we need that because they'll probably not come into play uh, that soon. So for now, let's save on the points and think about how we want to deal with this over here. Um, I think actually we want to move you down here and prepare defenses in this direction. Do we think we even have a chance of holding this? Well, let's do it Stalinesque a little bit and, and just pretend that we have a chance. Um, and then we do want to attack against counters as well. So this time we're going to fortify here against three sides like such. It's going to take a longer time uh, but I think that's still uh, worthwhile. Paul's going to move into that position. You're fine over here and that arrangement does make some sense to me. This headquarter is okay, I guess. Move you up a little bit. And then this armor train over here. Uh, what can you actually do? Let's look at the properties of the armor train. Uh, you have good infantry weapons. You don't really have any anti-aircraft. Um, you are fairly good at attacking stuff. Your light armor, I thought you'd be... No, you're not a train artillery, you're just straight out a gun. Your defensive values aren't great, so... I think actually this area sort of makes the most sense, since there are a lot of ray rays going around. So... Yeah, I think we'll keep it over here. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, everyone over here has moved. So that does leave the question of whether we want to move anyone from over here in uh, East Asia towards the front. Uh, we could operate you, I guess. And it would cost 22. And can we bring you all the way to the west? We can. So honestly, I think that is something that is sensible to do. It's a little bit expensive, but not overly so. Um, and I think all in all, it makes sense to... Oh, that's a cavalry division. Huh, I didn't get that. Um, and we are not f feeling that afraid of Japan anymore, so um, yeah, I think it's going to be alright. So yeah, again, let's operate you, 26 points. It's actually fairly fine to, to get some special forces over here uh, towards the potential front with the Germans, or actual front with the Germans. You know what, I'm starting to feel a little bit more okay over here. I mean, still these are a lot and a lot of tanks um, that are threatening us, but... Still, more and more, that seems to be okay to me. Good. So, that does settle, I think, the Soviet Union. Uh, that does leave us with spending a couple of points. So, UK is roughly fine. Some of these units could be upgraded, I guess, for more mobility. Could try to get more forces down here. Could operate at, at least someone down here. I mean, that not, might not be the worst. You don't potentially need some more tactical bombers. Uh, down here, everything seems to be fine, though. Good attack, no point. Oh, we can upgrade you. Uh, that's fine, let's do that. Definitely anti-aircraft, mobility... Uh, sorry, infantry, weapons, and mobility. And then next time, we'll upgrade your... Uh, sorry, reinforce you. And that should be fine as well. Lovely and dandy. Um, Singapore, you know what, we are going to upgrade the core just because it's very cheap and I think it's thematically fitting. So that's fine. But yeah, we really should spend more then. So purchase new units as the UK. Um, we do, I think, have some tanks in production. Yes, we do. Lovely. Some cores over here. 
Um, I think some mechanized or some army units might actually be very good. So an army is slightly better at detecting soft targets. But the mechanized forces are roughly better than anything else. The entrenchment, demoralization, action points, yeah. You know what, mechanized infantry is simply better, so let's purchase these guys. That does put us very low. Oh, we have some tanks in India. That is lovely as well. Um, actually, we might want to put you guys onto transports first. And I guess bring him down towards Southeast Asia. And then what we can do is place the Indian tanks in Karachi again. And that's fine. Good. Uh, UK, all points spent. China, some points left, but again, for now, not much that we can be doing with that. Uh, India, not many points. USA, quite a lot of points. Um, and so let's look again at R&D spending. Naval weaponry, you're fine. Aerial warfare. Let's go for production technology. I would like to get a little bit more bang for my buck there. Then we could think about command and control. Advanced subs even. And submarine warfare. Don't think that's required. So yeah. Let's purchase something at the US then. And that might be another submarine. No. Let's hold off on that. But we have we have many points. I do want to spend that when we do have the production technology. So, that being said, I think this is a good place to put in the cut. Next time, it's going to be June. And I think you all know what that means. Potentially an attack by Germany next turn or the turn after. I'm very excited to see how it's going to turn out. So, thank you very much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.